Denise, Democrats want local school systems to control their individual calendars. The governor says if their bill passes, he will make his executive order law by making this into a referendum. Because, because, let me because finish. You're interrupted. Let me finish. finish. Let me finish. Let me finish. Well, let's not continue with this foolishness. Here. After a contentious debate in the Maryland Senate, a preliminary vote to allow local school systems to start and end their school years when they want passed by a more than two to one margin. It would override Governor Hogan's executive order signed on the boardwalk in Ocean City in 2016 that mandates schools start after Labor Day and end by June 15th. Do we believe in local control of the most basic? basic service that we provide, public education. Governor Hogan vowed to fight lawmakers who dared to challenge him, calling them out of touch and incredibly stupid, and pointing to polls showing more than 60% of Marylanders support his post-Labor Day order. They're now playing political games to, to do exactly the opposite of what everyone wants. And that bothers me. Um, and I'm standing up for the people. Hogan, a Republican, said if the bill backed by Democrats passes, he'll push to take the issue to the voters through a referendum. I can guarantee you they will get the signatures in rapid, you know, in a very short period of time and uh, that it will pass. Hogan supporters say starting school later benefits tourism in Ocean City and keeps students out of unair conditioned classrooms. Ocean City, man! Those in opposition believe it benefits Ocean City's economy at the expense of education and punishes schools that try to cram in lessons while accommodating days missed for severe weather. They argue school boards have to jump through hoops to get waivers to the governor's strict policy. Thank you. And this still has a long way to go in the General Assembly, starting with a final vote in the Senate. Stay tuned. Live at the State House, Mike Helgren, WJZ.